Good afternoon, friends, family, neighbors, subscribers. Today is uh, the weekend before Mother's Day, and we're doing a lot of work here in the garden. So much is going on. I'd like just wanted to check in with everybody and give everyone an update as to the progress. Um, the forecast for this weekend was nothing but rain. I was a little upset with Mother Nature, and I let her know, and she has, because normally I feel blessed whenever she decides she wants to water my garden, because everything that I'm growing just loves rain. But when I want to work outside, <laughs> it's not very helpful. So, um, she's granted me a beautiful morning, and I've gotten quite a bit of work done. I'm on my second change of clothes because it's still pretty warm um and but anyways let's start <laughs> okay this morning i've been working at digging up this garden here where i'm gonna put my toad lilies um and moving the dirt over here where I'm going to build my dry pour patio for my fire pit. As you can see, working hard. Um, let's see. Here is one of the plants that I recently got. It is a floral berry chardonnay st john's wort which i will be putting right here all of my lilies have gotten quite big and will look really nice i got a new um inca uh, um holland lily this one to yeah um ah forgive me my words are not working right now anyways this right here is another inca lily and it's like an orangey color and i got the purple one to, to you know add more color right here is a delphinium i love the beautiful blue and i really don't have anything growing in the middle here so that's why i I think I'm going to put that there. In the back, my gladiolas are doing really well. In the front here, I've got all these right here are peacock orchids, which I think will look really pretty once I get all the weeds pulled out. My lilac bush is really leafing out, getting really big, and I'm really happy about that. Um, I've got a cute little hanging basket next to my solar lantern. Let's see, I got some, I, some of my dahlias are not coming up, so I'm going to put Latania in its place. These are both little lucky hot pink. And then I've got a pot of gold I'm going to put right there. Um, not sure if it's the earwigs or the bunnies eating my dahlias, but a lot of them are coming up, and I really hope the well. And around the corner, Let's see, Is it, they're being eaten up. But I've started putting out uh, traps to um, kill a lot of the earwigs, so hopefully. They won't be eating up my plants as much. I'm not sure what's growing right there, but we'll find out. Over there, that's a tick seed. The yellow flower is a tick seed. That's free seeded from last year. There's my butterfly bush. That's leafing out quite well. I can tell something's been eaten on it. It's probably earwigs. Like I said, um, I'm using the um, vegetable oil and soy sauce traps and some of them are do doing pretty well. I'll be putting more of them out this weekend 
hopefully lessen my earwig population. Earwigs are generally a beneficial insect because they eat a lot of the harmful uh, insects in your garden. Um, but when they go get out of control, it they start eating your plants. Let's see, I got that dahlia coming up. This one's not. So I'll probably have to have to go to the store and get another one. You got these dahlias that are coming up. In this garden here, I have some tick seed and a lot of weeds. And that's going to probably be my next project after I finish my toad lily garden. Okay. Yeah, not liking this one. Here is my daylily garden. I have a couple of daylilies that didn't come up, so I think I'm going to try and put some more Latania in here for more color. This is the lucky, little lucky red Latania. It's going to be here. And I'm really happy with this rose. I transplanted this rose here six years ago. And this is the first year in, that it actually has bloomed. So, she's finally doing well again. Finally got us, took six years to get established, but hey, now she's happy. Looks like a lot of my daylilies are about to bloom. And the tiger lilies in the back. They got buds on them as well. Looks like my iris is, is done. The penstemon's not doing too bad. I transplanted it here last year as an experiment. And hmm, uh, my clematis is going to be moved next year. <laughs> but for now... She's blooming, but she's getting eaten by earwigs. There's one of my traps right there. And it's got, you can't see it on the video, but I was looking at it yesterday and there's a lot of dead earwigs in there, which makes me happy. Right here, as you, these pots here all have toad lily roots in them. And as you can see, only one of them sprouted. So, I found some at the local nursery, so I got three of them that will be planted later. My volunteer cedar is doing so well. It's so tall now. I'm going to have to cut more of my boxwood away. Here's my rose of Sharon Garden. Here is my rose of Sharon Garden. I may be transplanting my rose of Sharon next year. I'm not sure she gets enough sun right here. She gets a lot of shade throughout the day from the boxwoods because they've gotten so big. All right, right here, this white flower that you see is actually one of the annuals that I planted last year and it did not die. It seems to be thriving, so she's going to stay right there. And I got a few more to let you know what they are. They are... Kelly Brocoa and we are a zone seven and they don't necessarily they're not supposed to overwinter but obviously they do sometimes we had a very mild winter when it got cold the snow was protecting it and that's my theory and I'm sticking to it but anyways I got some purple ones over here and I also got some superbina to continue the pattern through of white and purple around this garden to give it some color over here my salvia is doing pretty well my gardenia I'm not sure how it's gonna if it's gonna come back enough to survive the winter but we'll see that like a, that cold week that we had 
just destroyed all the leaves and branches. So, hopefully it's got enough of a root system to come back. And let's see. One other thing I wanted to say. I do have three oak tree seedlings, volunteer seedlings that have come up in, come up in my garden. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with them yet. There's one all the way over there. But for right now, they're just going to stay put. I'm probably going to transplant them into pots before I decide if I'm going to put them in my yard or give them away. Sorry, I cut off. Hopefully I can paste these two videos together. But the other oak tree seedling is right there. Let's see, I've got, let's see, that right there is butterfly weed. That's echinacea right there. Primrose is <laughs> very, very prolific and all in full bloom. I think it looks pretty. I keep pulling some, pulling it out to thin it out a little bit, but oh my goodness, it loves my garden. So amazing. Let's see, over right there, is another echinacea. I've got my guaras that are starting to bloom a little bit and they will continue to bloom all summer long. Let's see. Got a Tennessee echinacea right there. Oh, that's another butterfly weed. You can see the little buds on them. I still have to put more pea gravel around here but and replace the rock borders, but that's going to happen sometime this weekend, hopefully. There's another butterfly weed blooming. There's a Tennessee echinacea that I picked up at a local nursery to kind of mirror the other one over there. There's another butterfly weed right there. My percalis needs to get trimmed again. The creeping jenny around the outside I think looks really pretty and then on this garden here my peony is not growing much maybe she's going to be a slow grower but I'm trying to keep it watered so it doesn't die I've been having bad luck with everything I try and plant here but I really want a peony right there let's see spiderwort is looking really nice so is the Jacob's Ladder that I also picked up from a local nursery. We've got, still have some Columbine blooming. And then I added a little cute birdhouse hanging from my tree ranch. I think it looks really cute in here. see the ferns are doing well obviously I still need to weed through here pull out all the trees saplings that are coming up there's my irises done blooming for the year here's my other Tennessee ostrich fern Over here, I've got my dahlia. Looks very happy. It even has some buds on it, which is cool. My vagella are almost, are pretty much, are done, are past their peak. They still have a few blossoms, on, blooms on them, but they'll just leaf out for the rest of the summer. And there'll be a few blooms throughout the year, throughout the season, but they're pretty much done. Looking uh, down here, the yellow and pink flowers, those are Baptisia. And then these pink and purple ones are Penstemon. And then the green that you see in between the purple Penstemons, those are Tiger Lilies. They'll bloom later this year. Here's another deal that I got last night at Home Depot. 
I love these bicolor petunias. And he will go, he'll replace my buttercup in this basket here. Oh my goodness. Look at the Baptisia. Oh, it's so pretty. The cultivar is pink lemonade. Right. Now to show you the rest of my spoils. The rest of the Mother Mother's Day gift to myself. Got this delivered this morning. My mulch, some pea gravel, compost. And then here's the dry pour cement that I'm going to use for my patio. I'm still waiting for the um, pavers to arrive, but they should arrive sometime today. Let's see. This guy here I picked up on sale at Food Lion. Bella Fuchsia. This Sun Patience is what my daughter picked out. Looks like probably Begonia needs some water. This is another hanging basket I got. Not 100% sure where I'm going to put all my hanging baskets, but I'll figure it out. My citronella plant I brought out here to get some sun and some water from the rain this morning. And I got this. I got another whiskey barrel basket. I think it's so pretty. It had to come home with me. It's probably going to go somewhere over by my fire, by my patio that I'm going to be building. And then these petunias with the variegated leaves. Oh my gosh, so pretty and it's trailing. Those are also going to go by my patio. I got two of those and I'm going to put them in some green pots. And I think it'll look really nice once it's done. And I think that's, I think that's about it. So I'll post another video probably tomorrow and let you know what my progress is. Thank you.